Welcome to SIAC Football Media Day 2019, and welcome back to another exciting year of SIAC football. The 2018 season was filled with thrills, upsets, comebacks, and outright dominant performances. But a new season is here, which means a new champion will rise. Let's jump right into the 2019 predicted order of finish and preseason honors, beginning with the East Division. Rounding out the East at number 6 and making their debut and return to the league are the Tigers of Savannah State University. Led by head coach Sean Quinn, the Tigers look to make a statement this season against its SIAC conference opponents, sending a message of what's to come. In 2018, the Tigers posted a 2-8 overall record and were 1-6 in, in MEAC conference play. With a return to the SIAC, head coach Sean Quinn hopes a new season and a new league post a fresh new start for his championship hopeful program. Savannah State opens their season at home against Florida Tech on September 7th and opens SIAC conference play on September 21st on the road at East Division foe Benedict College. Clark Atlanta University takes the number 5 spot in this year's rankings. The Panthers posted a 3-7 overall record with a 2-4 conference record that included victories over divisional rivals Fort Valley State and Morehouse College. Clark Atlanta decided to make some changes in the offseason, which were highlighted by the hiring of a new head coach in Tim Bowens, who looks to build the Panthers into a championship program by stressing that everything matters. The Panthers return with players awarded preseason all-conference honors, including offensive lineman Paul Coleman, wide receiver Jonathan Sanders, defensive lineman Briante Glover, and punter Ty Woods. The Panthers host Livingstone College at home on September 7th in its season opener. The Wildcats of Fort Valley State University were picked to finish fourth in the East Division. Head coach Kevin Porter led the Wildcats to the championship in his first two seasons, but struggled to make a third appearance in 2018. The 2018 season looked promising after a 21-19 road win over the soon-to-be SIAC champions Miles College. The victory would be one of two wins for the Wildcats, who posted a 2-4 conference record, 2-8 overall. The Wildcats return with four players selected to the 2019 preseason all-conference team, including offensive lineman Darius Hicks, defensive back Cameron Young, punt returner Lorenzo Smothers, and defensive back Zach Anderson. Fort Valley will open the season September 7th at home against conference foe Miles College. Coming in at number three are the Morehouse College Maroon Tigers. The Maroon Tigers opened the 2018 campaign with an exciting 7-0 start. This historic run for the Maroon Tigers was highlighted by a Game 1 victory over Division 1 University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, their third Chicago football classic victory, and a triple overtime victory over rival Tuskegee University, ending a seven-year drought. The exciting start came to an abrupt halt once division play started for the Maroon Tigers, who went 1-3 in East Division play. Head coach Rich Freeman looks to get the Maroon Tigers back in East Division and SIAC title contention in 2019. The Maroon Tigers lead the conference with 10 players selected to the preseason all-conference team, including offensive lineman Jean Syracuse and Lee Humphrey, running back Santo Dunn, wide receiver Tramel Gooden, defensive lineman William Calloway, linebackers Julian Turner and Edward Nelson, defensive back Diedrich Vanover, kick returner Reese Knuckles, and quarterback Mike Sims. Santo Dunn returns as the 2019 preseason all-conference offensive player of the year. The Maroon Tigers open the 2019 season September 1st in the inaugural Black College Football Hall of Fame Classic in Canton, Ohio, against Alabama A&M University. Benedict was selected to finish second in the East Division with two first-place votes. The Tigers finished the 2018 campaign 6-3 overall and 4-2 in the SIAC. By mid-season, Benedict was in the shuffle for the East Division title after opening up 2-0 over divisional rivals Fort Valley State and Clark Atlanta. The Tigers had back-to-back -back losses to Morehouse and Albany State, ending their campaign for East Division champs. Under head coach Mike White, Benedict looks to finally bring an SIAC title to Columbia, South Carolina. Benedict has five players on the 2019 preseason all-conference team, including defensive backs Robert Cummings and Treviante Brown. Offensive lineman Christian Taylor, defensive back Rashad Miller, and lineback Amari Andrews. The Tigers open their season September 7th on the road against Fayetteville State University. 
The Golden Rams of Albany State return as the top contender in the East Division. In 2018, Albany State won the East Division and made their return to the SIAC title game for the first time since 2015. Unfortunately, they fell short in the championship game, putting a cap on their promising playoff campaign. Coach Gabe Giardina looks to take the Golden Rams back to the SIAC championship and finish what they started. The Golden Rams return with six players selected to preseason all-conference, including defensive lineman Deontay Jackson, punter kicker Gabriel Bellinas, offensive lineman Raekwon Bethia, running backs Tracy Scott and McKinley Habersham, and defensive back Tyler Scott. The Golden Rams open the 2019 season at home against reigning national champions Valdosta State on September 7th. Now let's take a look at how the West Division unfolded. Rounding out the West Division All-Conference rankings at number 5 are the Thoroughbreds of Kentucky State University. Entering his first season as head coach, Charlie Jackson inherited a Thoroughbred team that had proven itself competitive in the SIAC. Under previous leadership, the Thoroughbreds posted a 0-10 record in an effort to rebuild the program to championship status. Kentucky State looks to rebuild a new foundation under new leadership and see their hard work turn into enough wins to make them eligible for conference title contention. Three Thoroughbreds made the preseason all-conference team, including defensive lineman Chris Roberts, offensive lineman Eliezer Hernandez, and punt returner Brett Silve. Kentucky State University opened the 2019 season September 7th on the road at Robert Morris University. Lane College Dragons come in at number 4. The Dragons 2018 season, like Miles, opened with an 0-5 start, but didn't result in the same happy ending as their divisional foe. The Dragons went 3-6 overall and 2-4 and in conference play. The Dragons hope that their off-season adjustments will prove beneficial for a strong run at an SIAC title. Head coach Derek Burrow's team is returning with two players on the preseason all-conference team, including defensive lineman Brace McKenzie and kick returner Anthony Evelyn. The Dragons begin their 2019 campaign September 7th on the road at South Carolina State University. Things are looking up for number 3, Central State University. The past few years saw the Marauders in dead last of the West Division preseason polls, but the hard work of head coach Cedric Pearl and his team caught the attention of the SIAC football community, earning them the number 3 spot. The 2018 Marauder campaign ended with an overall 5-5 record and a 4-1 conference record. The Marauders were one win away from a complete sweep of the West Division, but a loss to eventual conference champs Miles College ended a competitive yet promising 2018 football season. The Marauders enter the 2019 season with four players selected to the preseason all-conference team, all of which made first team including tight end Robert Corbin Jr., wide receiver Kevin Greenow, running back Terrera Saffold, and linebacker Kalen Abrams. The Marauders open the season September 7th at home against Quincy University. The Tuskegee Golden Tigers are in an unfamiliar spot at number two after a few years at the West Division preseason number one spot. The Golden Tigers had a bit of an up and down season in 2018, which resulted in an 0-3 record against their rivals Alabama State, Morehouse College, and Miles College. The Golden Tigers season came to an end in what would be the de facto SIAC West Division title game against rival Miles College. Tuskegee hopes 2019 will be a year filled with avenged losses and a return to SIAC dominance. Head coach Willie Slater returns with five players on the preseason all-conference team, all of which made first team, including offensive linemen Martise Patterson and Rochelin Romain, defensive lineman Sean McGee, linebacker DeVoris Thomas, and defensive back Rourke Stewart. The Golden Tigers open their season September 7th in Montgomery, Alabama against arch-rival Alabama State University. The reigning SIAC champs take home the number one spot in the West Division preseason rankings. Last year, Miles College opened the season with an 0-5 record, but a strong 4-1 campaign to finish out the regular season led the Golden Bears to a West Division title and their third SIAC football title in school history. The 50-point performance was the second highest score by any team in the SIAC football championship era. The Golden Bears return the seven players on the SIAC preseason all-conference team, including offensive lineman Aaron Scroggins, wide receiver Leonard Tyree, linebacker Austin Stevens, tight end Montavious Tinch, defensive lineman Jalen Thomas, defensive back Kendra Walker, kicker Jackson Spradlin, and quarterback Daniel Smith. 
Linebacker Austin Stevens enters the 2019 season as the SIAC Preseason All-Conference Defensive Player of the Year. The Golden Bears open the 2019 season September 7th on the road at Fort Valley State University. The 2019 SIAC East Division champ will host the SIAC Football Championship. So what will be the story of 2019? Will it be the tale of underdogs or re-emergence of powerhouses? Whatever the story will be, we'll all watch it unfold week by week until one team reigns supreme on November 16th. Each week, get stronger, get better, play smarter. But most importantly, remember that we're the SIAC, and we play hard.